The southern party of the Canadian Arctic Expedition had a scientific mission to document the geology, geography, wildlife, resources and people they encountered in the north. The leader of the southern party was Dr. R. M. Anderson, who later became the chief biologist for what is now the Canadian Museum of Nature. Like all of the natural scientists of his era, Dr. Anderson was devoted to collecting and preserving as many examples as possible of all of the animals that he encountered in order to study the diversity, the differences in the color of fur and feathers, all the varieties that help scientists determine the differences between species of animals. Dr. Anderson used this dissection kit to prepare all of the specimens that he collected during the expedition. To prepare a specimen, he used the scalpel and scissors to open the body, to pull the skin away from the body, he used various things like this bone scoop to clean the skull, to take the brains from the skull, to clean the bones that uh, accompany the skin. And then he stuffed the skin with cotton. And most importantly, he attached his own label to each specimen indicating the time and place where the animal was captured. When the expedition returned south, they had many hundreds of specimens with them. Among them were several Arctic fox skins. This particular Arctic fox skin has a special story. In 1914, Anderson's men befriended a young Arctic fox that was hanging around their camp. They decided to make a pet of him and named him Jim. But Jim was too sly for his own good. Anderson recorded in his daily journal the destiny of Jim the Arctic Fox. Jim the captured fox got out again last night and defied capture until this morning. He had damaged several bird skins and totally destroyed another. He seems to have been captured too old to be tamed, so I decided to add him to my skin collection, as I've been thinking of doing quite often recently. And this is how poor Jim, by destroying Anderson's other specimens, became a specimen himself.